All right, hello everyone. Uh, this video is gonna be short and sweet. I'm just gonna get right to the point. So I've got a really interesting comment from LOL AGT 99 who commented on my last video. Um, and it's a good comment. Um, I'm not trying to disparage him in any way. Um, that's, not, that's not what this video is about. Um, I think that this video is very, uh, his comment is very descriptive. It's very, um, it's very pertinent. So I'm going to dissect it and, and tell you here what, what I see in this. So number one, I lost two funded accounts this week. Number one, I know you're trading Apex because, well, I know. The way that you're talking, I know that. Um, here, here's the thing, right? You need to trade one account. Um, no, I do not agree with trading multiple accounts. I've tried it myself. Um, the reason is because... Uh, well, I mean, if you're trading five accounts, right, you're going to think to yourself, oh, if I take this reckless trade, I don't really give a shit. I don't care because I have five accounts. So why do I care if I take a losing trade on this one account? No, you're going to lose on all of your accounts because you didn't focus on one. You will lose them all. So I feel like I'm becoming more disciplined. So discipline is not a, 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 subjective, a subjective thing. Uh, it's an objective thing. Um, you need to measure the objective things that you are doing, such as, for example, I walk today. I did not walk yesterday, but I went walking. I did exercise today. That's objective. Um, yesterday, I tried to trade an economic release. Today, I did not. I avoided an economic release. I tried gambling on the New York Stock Exchange Open yesterday, but today I avoided the New York Stock Exchange Open. I mean, these are the things, like, guys, you got to measure discipline objectively. It's not a feeling. I don't feel like my diet has improved. I have curated the foods that I eat to improve my diet. It's not, it's not subjective. I, so again, I feel like I'm becoming more disciplined. No, I mean, you either, it's, it's um, objective, right? I walked a mile yesterday and today I walked a mile and a half. Um, yesterday I ate a bunch of junk food. Today I did not eat a bunch of junk food. Last week I ate a bunch of bad food. Today, or this week, I only ate healthy food. Last week, I was, I was on narcotics, vaping, smoking, doing a bunch of drinking. This week, I cleaned up my act. I mean, these are all objective things, guys. This is not subjective. Whenever I lose money on a trade, I lose control of myself and I fuck it up. That's gambling. That's a gambling addiction. I know it because I have it myself. Um, what that is right there, guys, is, is that's um, gambling addictive behavior, which is natural, by the way. Um, these companies know that. Top Step knows it. Apex knows it. They all know it. Um, Trade Station, all your brokerages, Thinkorswim, T they all know it, guys. They they know the kind of clientele that, that are attracted to trying to trade stocks. This is not a joke. I mean, they, I mean, what I'm saying is like they know, guys. So if you don't recognize this as gambling addiction, then you're never going to be able to overcome it. It's kind of like you can never stop becoming an alcoholic if you never first recognize that you're an alcoholic. Um. I myself have a problem with gambling. Um, I'm a gambling addict, 100%. But I had to recognize that if I'm ever going to, to become a successful day trader and really treat it like a career and like a job and stop gambling. You can't, you can't live in this limbo where you're denying what you are. I'm afraid of taking a loss because I'll know to try to win it back instantly. Again, guys, that's gambling addiction. Sabotage all the progress I've been making gambling addiction however I passed another eval this week Got, you're, you're like rolling through accounts like they're freaking confetti I don't care how much they cost guy I mean yeah I know Apex, Apex accounts are cheap um, it encourages gambling uh, you, you, you need to focus on one account because it needs to mean something to you you're never going to get there if, if your accounts don't mean anything to you they have to mean something to you it has to like you're only ever going to exercise risk management if you build up your one account to a point where it means something to you and like you would be really upset if you mess that up. If, you, if you're trading 20 different Apex accounts, who cares if you lose one? Ergo, you're going to gamble. But I passed another eval with a chance to get it right. We'll focus on that account. If I lose it again, I'll just keep trying. This is kind of redemption. And if I lose it again, I'll just keep trying until eventually I become successful. That That is the right way of thinking. So... 
you're not hopeless, and and you have you have a redemption quality there, and the and you have kind of the beginnings. What that shows me is that you have the beginnings, and so do I, of the right attitude and the right mindset, which is uh, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep working. Um, so that that's kind of, you know that that was a very uh, a very good statement. So anyways, guys, I wanted to dissect this comment, not to make fun of this guy at all. Uh, I, he's my brother. I, I appreciate him so much. Um, of course, I appreciate all my viewers. Um, it's not that, guys. What I'm trying to tell you is that many of you, even though you didn't write to me in the comments, you don't comment, you never comment, you never like on the videos or give me any sort of engagement, uh, you'll watch for like 10 seconds, right? Um, here, here's the thing, though. Many of you are doing the exact same thing that my commenter said. And I was doing the exact same thing about a month ago. So it, I know that many of you are just like this. And I'm, I have been just like this. I've moved past this, but I've, just, I've been just like this. And so it's a very illustrative comment. So anyways, guys, um, you need to recognize what you are. You can't deny what you are. I'm not, you know, it, the longer that you deny yourself what you are, the longer you're not going to make progress. Does that make sense? If you keep denying, let's say, for example, that you know, as a matter of fact, you have autism or you have a personality disorder. If you know that you are not normal and the things that you do and the things your behavior set is not normal, the longer that you deny it, the longer you're, you're not going to be able to overcome it. The longer that you deny, for example, that, that if you're a gambling addict, the longer that you deny that you're a gambling addict, the longer you're, you're just going to suffer. If you are smoking pot every single day and you're denying to yourself that you're addicted to pot, don't give me this. Stoners will always tell you that, oh, pot is not addictive. Well, you're doing it every day. Like every minute of the day, you're high. So I would say that's pretty addictive. I mean, guys, the longer that you deny what you are, the longer that you're just going to suffer and you're not going to fix it. So... If you keep exhibiting gambling addictive behaviors without, I mean, you're just going to keep, you're just going to keep gambling. There's, like, you're never going to stop gambling if you first don't recognize, actually, I am flawed. Actually, I am a gambling addict, and uh, you know what? It is what it is, guys. There is strength in recognizing what you are. Um, if you smoke cigarettes every single day and then still deny yourself that you are addicted to nicotine and cigarettes, then you're, you're never going to quit smoking. If you drink every single day and you, you, drink, you, don't, you don't just drink socially, like you drink all the time by yourself when you're trading, well, if you just, you, you, you're never going to stop drinking if you, don't, if, if you don't recognize that you're an alcoholic. Okay. So I feel good about it. So it's just how these things work. Uh, with trading, guys, you will never recognize that you are a gambling addict unless, you will never, let me say this, you will never get out of gambling addiction with trading if you don't recognize what you are. So, all right, guys. Bye-bye.